I um, work with the AI organization, Chief AI Officer. Um, and, and so the, the role, the mission, as I see it at least, is that uh, is to support all of the AI efforts across the entire SNET ecosystem. That means uh, people, the resources they need, uh, coming up with ideas, um, helping out with both foundational and applied research, as well as uh, helping to guide and coordinate uh, basic underlining research central to AGI, uh, but also central to what about the future of marketplace development. And I'm, I'm thinking there in, in specific about uh, our AI DSL or domain specific language initiative and basically across our, our broad ecosystem, as, as uh, Sridhar uh, pointed out about his blockchain, the goal is to aid and assist all of the different projects. That being said, I am very honored and privileged to be a uh, part of such an incredible team um, because all those team members make my job easier because I can trust them, I can rely on them with, through some simple interactions, we just kind of get things done. So that makes my job easier. The, the hard part is the, the, the breadth of, uh, of work. And so <clears throat> the team is comprised amongst a number of um, far-flung AI labs as well as independent researchers. Uh, that includes uh, Alexei's uh, Hyperon uh, and AGI team in St. Petersburg, as well as uh, Sergei Shaliapin's uh, Deep Neural Network Research Lab, also in St. Petersburg, Russia. Uh, it includes the entire uh, I, the ICOG labs out of Addis Ababa in Ethiopia. Uh, we have our more applied AI labs in Belo Horizonte, Brazil, as well as uh, uh, our labs in Hong Kong, working on with um, Eddie Monroe and uh, the Awakening Health team. And then a tight knit group of uh, inter independent researchers literally spread around the, the world. So I'm not gonna have a chance to really go through everything that um, we've been working on and moving forward. So I'm just going to highlight kind of what I consider maybe some of the, the larger the projects. As I said, the AI domain specific uh, language. So the, the idea here, um, Janet talked about matchmaker capabilities, matching uh, community members, with uh, some projects and, and AI services uh, projects and so on. AI DSL kind of performs a matchmaker service between disparate AI services. And, and so the, the broad goal here is that it would be kind of like an infrastructure improvement, not at the blockchain level, but at the AI level for the marketplace in that a, an end user could say, write a smart contract to, to specify, here is the kind of AI service I need. Ideally, and this is kind of the longer term vision, and that'll be a little while coming, but hopefully the, the next phase, phase two, will be done uh, in 2022. Um, the goal is you, the end user specifies what he or she wants um, a, an AI service to do. Um, AI DSL will be able to search out such services, but in, in many cases, there won't be an exact service like that. And so instead, it will be able to piece together different AI services that can work together to fulfill uh, that need uh, of the end user. So that's just one example of one of the things I help to, to oversee. I, I don't necessarily have a chance to get deep down into all the weeds, so to speak, of every 
of every project, but uh, uh, enough to kind of keep track of these as we go along. Um, Alexei mentioned uh, the uh, Nils Mine and Hedra's Minecraft demo. I, I work with uh, both of them. Um, the distributed atom space, which will be central to Hyperon, is uh, currently being um, um, architected by um, Senna from our Brazil team. Um, and that feeds in to Hyperon as well. Um, some exciting work uh, in, in our bio, in, bio AI and in the bioinformatics area, which highlight some of the, uh, I, I keep talking about kind of the diverse directions that um, is called upon is suddenly all this different forms of, of um, kind of abs differential geometry are coming into play that I've not played around with in, in years. Um, well, for example, you have more um, foundational ideas in Hyperon with homotopy type theory and, and so on, which is some fancy words there. But um, it's just, it's an exciting position, just lots of diverse directions it can take. Uh, some exciting work going on in um, the realm of uh, sustainability, uh, environmental and sustainability issues, ESG. Um, in particular, a lot of soil health um, and um, carbon sequestration efforts um, in collaboration with our partnership partners at Arizona State University. Uh, we're looking to um, create a new sustainability pod uh, and um, and uh, just overall, um, Sing, Singdal Research Marcello uh, mentioned, and that's always exciting to help out as I can there. Um, and I have trust that, you know, for, you know, I, I can point to particular individuals and I could do, do I, I'd have to do everybody then though. Uh, <laughs> Um, I can just kind of say, okay, I'm not paying that much attention right now because it's just working and I trust the work that you do. But if you do need help, I'm, I'm there um, for you to help with anything, maybe some questions, some resources you need. Um, occasionally, you know, and I'll try to do deep dives in, into particular projects on rotating weeks because I can't keep track of it all at once. And, uh, but as I said, it's really the team that makes it happen um, just because they're so good. Thank you to the, the, the entire um, ecosystem and the community. Um, that's, it's, it's the collaboration amongst all of these um, different people that makes everything possible. Looking forward to 2022, there's so much exciting stuff on the horizon and um and it's going to make 2021 look like a ripple in the ocean <laughs>